hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i thought we would do a kind of a march wrap up and an april tbr i have my soda i hope you have yours and let's just snuggle up with a blanket and get into the video so i have been wanting to number one read a lot more and put it as a priority because I have not been able to do that the past couple months. I've been a little bit busy going back to work. I actually just sold my house. So actually I used to have like all these bookshelves, they're gone, all my books are gone. So I was like, well, I won't, I'm not gonna make videos, I'm not gonna read, I'm not gonna do any of that until I move, move in a few months, but my stress compounded. <laughs> And the only way I know how to get out of stress is to bury myself in a book. What that does for me is, I know meditation's great. I know watching TV is great. I know like other things you can do for your mind. But if I'm listening to music, I'm still thinking. If I'm watching a movie, I'm still thinking. If I'm in a meditation, I'm still thinking. I'm not very good at it yet. But one thing that forces my mind to focus on what is happening right there and then is reading. Because you have to read. If that makes sense? Anyway, that's what I've been doing recently. So, let's go ahead and jump into what I finished in the month of March. It is the last day of March when I am filming this, so this is pretty definite. But the book I finished was a book called The Game of Life and How to Play It. It's a spiritual book and it's all about manifestation. I loved this book. It's a five out of five stars, 10 out of 10. It is like on audio, it's like a two hour thing. It's like maybe a hundred pages, I'm not quite sure, but it's a quick read. It was exactly what I needed right now and I cannot recommend this book enough. If you would like to see a review on something like that, I usually do fantasy and just typical books. I don't do really self-help or spiritual. If you would like to see a review on that, please leave me a comment down below requesting that and I will be sure to do it for you. But what am I currently reading? I, if you have followed me for a long time, I think it's been two years since I've spoken about this book and it is Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. It is the third book in the Mistborn trilogy. I think it's called a trilogy. I, I, don't quote me on that, but yeah, it's, it's part of the main three books or the beginning three books. And I started this book two years ago when I finished the second book. And I loved the second book. The second book is still my favorite book in the series and it's to the point I'm gonna go reread it because I love it but I thought it's been two years I want to read other books by Brandon I know he's having a couple secret projects come out right now and I really want to read them my brother's already ordered them he's like part of his patreon or something and I just felt like I was missing out because I hadn't read a lot of his a lot of Brandon's core original stuff and I felt like I would be lost if I jumped into the new stuff. So I picked that book up again. I just hit part two. I think I'm at page a hundred. Yeah, it says original trilogy. Oh, I'm on, I'm on page 99 and I'm 17%. I have been also utilizing my Kindle. I have the Kindle Oasis. I have it in gold and the gold with with this red looks so good. I highly recommend it. I didn't have a case on it with a flap for a really long time. I would just throw it in my bag and go. It got slightly scratched. So I, I went ahead and bought a cover. But back to Brandon. I'm really enjoying the book. I'm hoping to finish it in April. Obviously it's the last day of March. And after that, I do want to continue reading. So I thought I would give you guys an update on a couple books 
I have on my TBR, I was actually talking about my Kindle. <laughs> my mind's all over the place. If I don't have a script, I have sort of a script, but if I don't like have a written down script, things kind of get rambly, so I apologize. But because, I'll go back to the Kindle for a second. Because I'm moving, because I can't have any books right now, because we needed to show the house and it looked cluttered, I have a lot of books. I decided I need to utilize my Kindle because I don't have any space for books, so I have been reading solely on the Kindle. Love this device, highly recommend it. Now back to books. <laughs> so I have a couple books on my Kindle that I bought a couple months ago that I've just been meaning to buy. They are all fantasy. The first book I think you guys will be very familiar with, hopefully, and it is Fairy Tale by Stephen King. I do not like horror and I do not watch Stephen King movies. I get scared. And I can read horror pretty well. Like if I don't know it's a scary book, I can handle it. Like no problem, I can handle it. With Stephen King, I hesitate because he's Stephen King. He is the king of all horror. And it just, something inside me tells me I just can't handle his horror books. But he came out with a, I think it was a YA fantasy book about a boy and I think his dog finding a fairy tale land or something I could be butchering that and I thought well that seems innocent enough and I'm gonna try it because I want to read Stephen King I hear he's an amazing author and I know from what I've seen reviews on this book it's not his best work but since I can't handle his best work I think this is gonna be a really good fit for me the next book is a book called Poison Study. I have been meaning to read this for a really long time. And it's a novel about a girl who chooses between getting killed or becoming a poison tester for the king. It's a high fantasy, I think YA novel, and I think there's also a romance involved. It sounded right up my alley when I was a kid and I've had it on my TBR list for so long. I have a, I had a couple credits a couple months ago on Kindle. I bought it and I need to read it. I need to read it because I think I really enjoy it. The last book I know nothing about. <laughs> nothing about at all. So I can't even give you guys like a synopsis. I can't even say the name, but I saw this in somebody's video. I don't watch booktubers. I watch one booktuber and I actually hate and I've told him this, like I, I've had this conversation with him. There's no bad blood. I hate all the books he, he reads. He reads nothing of interest to me. Everything he hates, I actually love. So if he does a review and he's like, I didn't like this book, I pick it up. <laughs> and he did not do that with this book. Okay, that's not true with all of them because he loves Brandon Sanderson too and like, you know all the classics, the good, good books. But he goes for more male you know, male stories of coming of age. He really likes coming of age. He really likes horror. I'm not that way. I like fantasy and girls and, you know, being a badass. If I get striked for that, I'm going to be pissed. Um, so he mentioned this in a video a long time ago, and I bought it because I thought it looked interesting. And why not? I need to read more fantasy. And it is 12 Kings in, I'm going to butcher this, Sharakai. I will put it at the bottom right here. And I think it's about a female assassin in a kingdom. It sounded right up my alley. It sounded something like something Brandon Sanderson might write. Don't quote me on that. If that makes you angry, I apologize. I really know nothing about it, but it did look good when I looked into it, so... I purchased it but those are the three books I think I can handle in April I'm not gonna put like 10 books on the TBR or anything like that and then in what is it it's April and the May May we're going on vacation so I will make sure to do a TBR video for May but I thought I'd sit down and get a video out for you guys tell you guys what I've been up to what I've been reading what I plan to read and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up 
like this video and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you guys in my next one. All right, bye.